वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ लेक्चर ऑन सिक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कॉसी सिक्वेंस सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिफाइन व्हाट इज कॉसी सिक्वेंस वी विल सी टू एग्जांपल्स एंड देन वी विल प्रूव ए थ्योरम व्हिच स्टेट्स दैट ए सिक्वेंस इज कन्वर्जेंट इफ एंड ऑनली इफ इट इज कॉसी सिक्वेंस एंड एट द एंड वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस थियोरम टू वेरीफाई वेदर ए सिक्वेंस इज कन्वर्जेंट और नॉट हेयर इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉसी सिक्वेंस so there are several methods of establishing convergence of a sequence in most of the methods a prior knowledge of the limit is necessary cauchy's method of establishing convergence of a sequence does not require any knowledge of the limit so the definition of cauchy sequence is that a sequence x sub n it is called a cauchy sequence if for every positive real number epsilon there exists a natural number n depending on epsilon such that beyond that natural number if you consider any two terms the distance between any two terms is less than epsilon so for every positive epsilon if there exists a natural number n such that this distance it is less than epsilon for any two terms m comma n greater than n then such sequence is called cauchy sequence here are some examples so if we consider this sequence whose nth term is 1 by n we can prove that it is a cauchy sequence so it satisfies this condition so we have to verify that for every positive real number epsilon there exists a natural number n such that beyond that natural number the distance between any two terms is less than epsilon so in this case let epsilon is positive some positive real number for this epsilon we need to find a natural number n so we may assume without loss of generality that m is less than n okay so in that case the distance between mth term and nth term it is less than 1 by m and if we choose this natural number n which is greater than 1 by epsilon so for this epsilon 1 by epsilon is some positive real number so we can always find a natural number which is greater than 1 by epsilon and this capital n this natural number will serve the purpose one can prove that the distance between mth term and nth term it is less than epsilon for all m comma n greater than n if we choose this n which is a natural number that is greater than 1 by epsilon then this n will serve the purpose the distance between any two terms beyond this natural number this distance it is less than epsilon so thus for every epsilon we can find a natural number which satisfies this thing so therefore this sequence it is a cauchy sequence what about this sequence so i claim that this is not a cauchy sequence so if it is cauchy sequence then for every epsilon we should be able to find a natural number n which satisfies uh, some condition right so beyond that natural number the distance between any two terms should be less than epsilon so here uh, we will see that we can have a positive real number epsilon for which we cannot find a natural number n and to so you just pick an epsilon in this range and so here we can see that for this epsilon we cannot find a natural number n so whatever n you choose there always exist two natural numbers m comma n greater than n such that the distance between mth term and nth term it is same as it is equal to 2 so that will be greater than epsilon distance between uh, the n plus first term and uh, n plus second term then this distance it is same as 2 and that is something some real number greater than epsilon so it is not satisfying this condition so we can have a positive real number epsilon for which we cannot find this natural number n which satisfies this condition so this sequence it is not a cauchy sequence 
and then here is the main theorem of this lecture Cauchy criterion provides a necessary and sufficient condition for a sequence to be convergent without having any knowledge of the limit so this is the theorem it says that a sequence xn is convergent if and only if it is Cauchy sequence okay so let's prove this theorem so without having any knowledge of limit we can say whether a sequence is convergent or not by just by verifying whether it is Cauchy sequence or not once we have this theorem okay what is the meaning of this so a sequence is convergent and that means it should have a limit so let's prove this implication this condition says that this sequence has a limit suppose l is the limit and then we have to verify that this sequence is a Cauchy sequence so it satisfies that condition okay so to prove that this sequence is Cauchy sequence you consider an arbitrary positive real number epsilon then for this epsilon we should find a natural number n such that the distance between any two terms beyond that natural number it is less than epsilon so we will use this fact so for this epsilon if we consider epsilon by 2 then for epsilon by 2 since epsilon by 2 is also a positive real number for epsilon by 2 there exists a natural number n such that the distance between nth term and l it is less than epsilon by 2 for all natural numbers greater than n we will use this and we will prove that the same n will serve the purpose you consider any two natural numbers m and n these are greater than this natural number n and then we will prove that this distance it is less than epsilon because this distance it is same as this one so we can add l and we can subtract l and it is less than or equal to the distance between this plus distance between nth term and l and this is less than epsilon by 2 this one is also less than epsilon by 2 because both m and n are greater than n okay so ultimately we will get that this distance it is less than epsilon so we we are proving here for every positive real number epsilon we can have a natural number n such that beyond this natural number the distance between any two terms is less than epsilon so and that proves that this sequence is Cauchy sequence what about the uh, converse so in this case I will just give the sketch of the proof so suppose you have a Cauchy sequence then first you prove that this sequence it is bounded sequence so this is step one in step one you prove that every Cauchy sequence is bounded sequence and then you can use bolzano oesters theorem that is step two using bolzano oesters theorem you can argue that since this is bounded sequence it has a convergent subsequence so it has a subsequence which converges to some limit let's say it is l and then in step three you just prove that that sequence xn it converges to the same limit l so i will leave these steps as exercise so you can verify step one and step three and bolzano oesters theorem you can use in step two so using this you can prove that a Cauchy sequence that is a convergent sequence so we have this theorem it says that a sequence of real numbers it is convergent if and only if it is Cauchy sequence and then we will use this theorem to verify uh, this sequence is not convergent so you consider a sequence here whose nth term is given by this sum so first term is 1 second term is 1 plus 1 by 2 third term is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 so on so this is your sequence whose nth term is given by this sum and then I want to prove that this sequence it is not convergent sequence so this is a divergent sequence I want to prove we will use that theorem 
So since we know that a sequence is convergent if and only if it is Cauchy sequence, to prove that this sequence is not convergent, it is enough to show that this sequence it is not a Cauchy sequence. And how to prove that this is not a Cauchy sequence? So we will find an epsilon and we will prove that for that particular epsilon there does not exist a natural number n which satisfies this condition. So in this case we choose epsilon is half and before that we should have this observation. So it says that if you consider the distance between nth term Sn and 2nth term S sub 2n it is just sum of these n many terms so it is 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 so on up to 1 by 2n now all the terms here so each term is greater than 1 by 2n because if you increase the denominator this term will be smaller so by increasing the denominator you will get 2n and then this term will get smaller okay so this is greater than 1 by 2n this one that is also greater than 1 by 2n and ultimately we will have this term so all the terms here greater than or equal to 1 by 2n so ultimately we will get that this sum it is greater than sum of this and how many terms are there so you have total n terms so it is sum of 1 by 2n n many times uh, ultimately you will get it is 1 by 2 so you can see that this distance it is greater than 1 by 2 now we will show that if you choose epsilon is half then for this particular epsilon you cannot have a natural number n which satisfies this condition why because so whatever n you choose there always exist two natural numbers m n greater than n such that the distance between mth term and nth term it is greater than epsilon so you just take so whatever n you choose you just take some natural number greater than n and you take m that is same as 2n so in in this case the distance between mth term and nth term it will be greater than 1 by 2 it will be greater than epsilon so for this epsilon there does not exist n which satisfies this condition therefore this sequence it is not a Cauchy sequence and hence it is not a convergent sequence so this sequence it is divergent sequence that's all i'll stop here